This is a question I received on the My Book Sucks Facebook fan page, and you can see a link below to the fan page. And this is the type of question you would get on a standardized exam. Now, here's the question. A line is drawn that is 13 units long, and the beginning point, or the starting point, is negative 4, 1. That's x is negative 4, y is 1. That's one endpoint. Then it asks, which of the following could be the other endpoint? And then you're given a list of choices. I recommend you always draw a picture. So I'll draw in the X line and the Y line. And I'll plot the point negative 4, 1. So I go negative 4, X plus 1, Y. Now I draw in a line that's 13 units long. The problem is I don't know the values of the X or the Y points right there, what they should be. In fact, the line could be like this. It's still 13 units long, and it can also be a horizontal line. Actually, it can't be. I know that Y is 1, and none of the choices have the value of Y is 1. You'll see that right there. So that's not an option. It's not a horizontal line. If I start with the first choice, which is x is 1 and y is 13, and I plot that, I go over 1x and up y 13, right there, and I draw a line, and I'll make the assumption the value is 13 to see if that works. Now I will make a triangle and I use the Pythagoras theorem and see if it is true in this case. The first thing I do is I calculate the base distance, which is the blue line, blue dash line. That's 1 minus negative 4, which is equal to 5. So the distance of that blue dash line is 5. Now I calculate the height of the triangle, which is 13 minus 1, which is equal to 12. Now I'll plug in the values for a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and see if this is a true statement. I have 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. And this equates to or equals to 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. And that is a true statement last time I checked. So it turns out a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared is a true statement in this case. And answer A is the correct answer. Don't forget to share the knowledge like us on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. You can ask questions below, and please subscribe to the channel because I'm always posting new videos.